Hey guys, me David. It's uh, 9 8 9 8 2021. So it's uh, Wednesday. So, um, not too much going on. Uh, they started picking up a little bit on me a little bit. They were hitting me a little bit earlier. A little bit, just a little bit ago, they were hitting me a little bit. Um, uh, God, I got the zit. I can't get rid of it. Um, so, uh, they're hitting me a little bit ago. Um, a little, well, they're just lighting off fireworks a little bit ago. Um, they're mad because I was, um, I was reading Dr. Duncan's book. Um, I haven't read the whole thing. Um, come on, Max. Dogs are barking and driving me crazy, so I had to shut my door. But, uh, so I was reading some of Dr. Duncan's book, and, um, you realize, um, how much, um, Brian, too, has memorized, because, um, he, he's pretty much got Dr. Duncan's book memorized, and that's what he's talking about half of the time. Um, but anyway, so, it's interesting, you know, um, he was telling, he was, you know, telling, uh, or he was saying in his book, like, these guys, uh, they're not told anything about us, you know, they're not told anything about us, um, besides, um, uh, I don't know, I guess you could say the handler or somebody is telling them, uh, you know, probably BS stuff, but, um, they're not told anything, it said, they're told, uh, the, t the date, the time, and the, and, you know, that type of stuff, they're not told anything about us when they do this, um, they're trying to figure things out, obviously, they're figuring things out, but, um, he was also talking about you could train the AI, you, you, me, or you could train the AI, um, and, um, and stuff, um, which I, I kind of believe that, but, um, I think in my program, I think they have evil people training the AI, I think they use child molesters, I think they use rapists, I think they use drug addicts, um, I think they're teaching the AI how to be, be so evil, um, it's got to learn from someone, um, it's not learning from me because I don't do anything, <laughs> you know, I mean, I take my dogs to the park, I'm pretty boring, I take my dogs to the park and I sit here and get tortured and, um, try to make some good food every once in a while and barbecue and go camping, you know, so I'm not, you know, uh, the AI would be good if, if, if it was just me training it, but, so I think they use, um, evil people to, um, you know, real bad psychopaths to train the AI on how to be so evil, um, and, and Brian too is right, it's in Duncan's book, it is artificial life, you know, and, and you know, this book is 10 years old, so it's, this is old, it, this is old information, you know. Uh, that book is 10 years old. I mean, can you imagine how far they've gone already in 10 years? Yeah, probably a, probably pretty far. Um, so it was interesting. I got to read that book. I, you know, I've been kind of jumping around little bits, little pieces here and there because they usually hit me when I read and stuff. And they get mad because they, they're not supposed to know this stuff. They're not supposed to know the, the, the systems like Satan and, and Christ and, uh, you know, Tammy and uh, what other... Uh, Gabriel and you know they're not supposed to know anything about that stuff you know uh, these guys are just they're not told anything they're just sitting there um, but like I say I think they do they can do some things manually like make your feet itch make you go to the bathroom give you heartburn um, I think that is them doing that I don't think that's AI I mean it could be but I, I don't think so I, I think they're doing that stuff um, uh, manually um, it's it's funny because I, I they show me a lot of things in my program and they, they kind of show me how things work and stuff and um, you know what I already know it's it's in Dr. Duncan's book you know it's all, I'm like reading it and I'm like yeah I, I kind of knew that already I figured that out so it's kind of amazing um, when you can figure out your own program and then read his book and and you already got it figured out you know and stuff um, it's um it's kind of crazy but uh so i just thought i would talk about that a little bit but uh yeah i don't know it's scary crap you know it is scary crap you know but they're not gonna you know not 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 everyone is a patsy you know not at, we're not all patsies you know what i mean and stuff so um we got to keep a positive attitude and, and especially if we're being hit with ai and all this stuff we got to keep a positive attitude um you know, and stuff, and, and, um, 
you know, and um, Brian too is right. Christian co content is 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 good to defeat um, some of the stuff. You know, um, you know, keep your keep your faith strong and everything. And I do. I got a picture of Jesus on my wall. You know, I pray to him, and and sometimes I ask him, where 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 are you? Where are you? Because I'm being hurt. You know, I'm being hurt right now. Where are you? You know, and stuff. But um, I don't know. It's just part of this program, I guess. Anyway, so not much going on. I mean, they hit me a little bit ago, and they were lighting off fireworks a little bit ago, scaring scaring the hell out of Tanner, and scaring scaring all the dogs. All the dogs came in here, you know, because they're scared of the fireworks. Thunderstorms and, and fireworks are scared of, you know, and they do that because it, they know it ticks me off. Um, but they're getting balls again. Um, you know, they, they hit me, and then they lay off me, and then they get balls again, and, and they want to torture me a lot. Um, they, they have an itchy trigger finger. These people have an itchy trigger finger, and they like to torture, and they look for reasons to torture you. Now, like I was just reading a little bit of his book, you know, so, oh, yeah, we're, oh, we're going to torture you. We're going to light a fireworks. So we're going to, you know, cause some chaos in your life because you're reading this book it, and trying to figure out what's going on, you know. So um, sometimes they'll, they'll just torture you for the hell of it, but sometimes they'll torture you for, they'll find a reason to torture you, you know. Um, I don't know. Somebody said sociopaths look for reasons to, to hurt you, and, um, and then somebody else, and then, or, you know, so, somebody said sociopaths will look for a reason to hurt you, you know, maybe torture you, hurt you, or whatever. Um, but psychopaths don't need a reason. They, they will just they will just torture you for the fun of it, you know, and all that stuff. These people enjoy this, you guys. They enjoy torturing and hurting innocent people um, that are nonviolent. Um, do this to someone who's violent and will come out there with a baseball bat. They won't do it. They would, they would never do it. Um, they would never do, you know, they would never bully around somebody who's violent and somebody who likes to fight and, you know, like a boxer or somebody, you know, do someone like that. Eh, come on, pound the hell out of you. But they won't do that because they're cowards. They're cowards. They got to do this to innocent, nonviolent people who don't fight back. That's what they do. They can't, they can't handle it when you fight back, you know. But anyway, so I'm rambling. Uh, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, you guys... You, you know, read Dr. Duncan's book. Um, there's so, so many people out there making assumptions, making videos, making assumptions. They think they know what's going on. They, they haven't figured out their own program. Some people have been in the program for eight or ten years, and they, they don't know what's going on. They don't understand why they're getting harassed. They don't understand why they're doing V2K. Um, some, some targets can't tell the difference between V2K and, um, and uh, in-person in harassment. They can't tell. Um... You know, somebody, uh, you know, thinks that, thinks they're going to the bathroom every time they do, and they think they're shaking the toilet in their own apartment. They're not shaking their toilet. Their, their toilet is anchored down to the ground. Um, that's V2K. They have a soundboard, you guys. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of sounds. They can do sounds of everything. Um, they have a soundboard they can use, and they use it for psychological warfare. You know, they want to trick you. They want to make you look irrational. You know, they want to make you look crazy and all that stuff. So if you call up the cops or something like that, you say, yeah, my neighbor's shaking his toilet every time I go to the bathroom. That's going to sound a little kooky, you know, and they're going to be like, well, that's probably impossible because his, his toilet is anchored down. It's V2K, V2K tricks, V2K tricks. They used to do V2K tricks to me all the time. I would go to the gas station and somebody would be standing next to me. And he wasn't saying anything at all, but they would say, proof, we have proof. And they would do it to make it sound like it's coming from the guy next to me. It was a total psyop. They will do things like that um, to, to, you know, I mean, you know, I would never co confront anybody and be like, what'd you say, blah, blah, blah. You know, I would never do that. Um, but uh, they get your wheels turning because... It, it's mind tricks, you guys. There's so many mind tricks in this game. Mind tricks, then they can do it with V2K. They have, you know, different voices they can use. Um, they have, uh, um, it, they can make it co go from different directions and all this stuff. You know, a lot of mind tricks they use with V2K. Um, I don't even get V2K anymore, but sometimes they will do that. 
they'll do stuff like that or they'll bang really hard i don't know if it's coming from outside or it's v2k you know they banged uh real hard uh a couple weeks ago and um but it, but the dogs didn't get startled so i think it was v2k i i don't think it was them outside i think it was v2k they did it but they want me to think it was them outside and get mad at them and go out there with the phone and go out there and look uh crazy you know look crazy um, you know, and that's the game they play. So anyway, we got to start reading Dr. Duncan's book. It puts things in perspective, um, uh, about this program and, and people would probably learn a lot. Um, you know, that, I mean, you know, a lot about the program and what's going on and why, why they're doing it and stuff. I still have a lot to read. I only read bits and pieces of it, so I shouldn't really talk, but from what I've read, I've kind of figured things out a little bit um, just by from getting V2K before and all the stuff I, I, I knew that they were using very bad people in my program and they didn't know anything about me, but they're trying to figure things out about me. So I don't know. It, it, I don't know if our memories are recorded on a hard drive or what, but they can, they're able to look back on our memories somehow. They showed me how they do it. So I don't know if they were reading my mind and looking back on my past memories. They were, they were looking through them like a picture book. Or if my memories are downloaded and they were looking back that way. That's that's kind of a mystery. I'm not sure about that. But they can read our mind. They can read our mind. Uh, and we know that. Um, they could, Because they can interrogate you with, with memories 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 30 years ago, you know. And all that stuff. So anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. Um, not much going on. So I hope you guys had a good Wednesday. And I'll, I'll talk to you guys later.